Um, what's really interesting for me, you know, the, the first uh, uh, idea for me was, you know, um, you know, to just show animals with long hair in a realistic way. And uh, if you know a little bit about visual effects, you know, that's the holy grail, or like it was at least in the last 10 years. And actually, um, I was trying to make this movie seven, eight years ago, but it was not possible because uh, I made some tests and it was just not possible. So when I kind of saw a couple of movies lately, I said, now it's possible. And um, it was interesting for me, you know, how long the process was. I mean, uh, first of all, we did uh, the, the movie with uh, two visual effect companies in England. Mm -hmm. And uh, they built this mammoth, you know, for one year. For one year, they did nothing else than building the muscle system, the hair system, the software, everything. And then it took another year to make all the shots. Well, you know, uh, I work with uh, Karen uh, uh, now the third time. That's the third time. And, uh, and it's, it's good because you don't have to, you know, talk so much anymore. She knows what I like. I know her strengths and her weaknesses, and she knows my strengths and my weaknesses. So we like kind of somewhat like a work well together. So um, you know, that's always uh, for me a big, big plus. You know, also what I like about her is she is um, a perfectionist, and I'm a perfectionist too. Sometimes a little bit hard on the people who work for us because we um, not so easily happy. You know, we like, uh, we say, this is this, 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 and that. Uh, we just analyze a shot to death, you know. But I think you have to do that. Otherwise, you know, don't get something, you know, which uh, the people will say, wow, this is like, and I have never seen something that real. You know, um, it's, it's um, I always like say, you're never finished with a movie. You actually abandon it uh, because you could go on and on and on and on. Yeah. So that's the limit, you know. Uh, it's it's just the, the monetary, uh, the, the the budget which gives you the limits. Um, and I am very very terribly excited because visual effects get better and better. And uh, through my career, you know, where like you, know, you couldn't do certain things, all of a sudden you can do them. For example, in old days we had models too, but we couldn't put anybody in besides having like cut them out of blue screen and put them in. Now you can have digital people. We have a couple of shots, you know, where the hunter runs, where the hunter is a digital too. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little digital play. <laughs> um, uh, actually, uh, um, my next project will be uh, uh, 2012. Uh, it's just, uh, I go back to the disaster movie um, because um, I still think there is like stuff to do, which uh, will, um, which I haven't done. And it's for me, you know, uh, amazing, not so much because of the visual effects, even there is like the, this will be the biggest visual effect movie I have ever done. But it's the story which really kind of uh, uh, I do this for because there's this fascination you have if our world would come to an end, what would we do? If we could survive, what would we take? It's just for me a fascinating idea. It goes back actually to the to the to the to the flood myth, to the to the Archie Noah story. Well, there should like kind of just um, you know uh, be very uh, clear of uh, you know what they want and keep doing that. You know because I I remember when I was like kind of doing uh, starting, I was constantly doing something. With my little Super 8 cameras, I was like trying to recreate Star Wars, you know, stuff like that, you know, and that's just, uh, that's just how you, how you uh, like kind of start, and all of us start very, very small. And then one day, you know, when you like kind of work really hard, you know, you can do, you know, uh, big things. You know, I think for me, um, CGI and special effects, I've always really enjoyed them because, you know, after you get over, excuse me, the initial phase of feeling a little awkward with nothing there uh, to react off of, you kind of just let your imagination go and uh, it's doing anything you want it to, you know, sometimes, and sometimes there's technical aspects to it, but uh, to be able to play um, opposite something that you can imagine in your mind, 
it's kind of a freeing experience. And then when you see it and its finished product, it's completely and utterly shocking. <laughs> you know, it's, it's mind blowing. I mean, when I first saw this just a few weeks ago, I, you know, we were doing these huge shots. There were no mallets, there were no tigers. So it was, um, it was incredibly gratifying to, to see uh, those things come into play. Yeah. Uh, the, the size, it was the scope of it. Um, you know, I, I had done visual effects for Sky High and, and Covenant, but obviously nothing to this scale. I mean, it was certainly the biggest uh, visual effect shots I've ever done. Um, and I'd argue that they're, they're pretty up there with, with everything, everything that's ever been done. Um, you know, kind of getting a grasp on doing a visual effects shot that's so large, you know, while you're there in the scene. You know, you don't have to imagine one mammoth, you got to imagine 400 mammoth, you know. Uh, wrapping your head around that, I think, is probably the most challenging thing. Yeah, like I said before, it's like, you know, you, you, can, you can make of it what you want, you know what I mean? You, you either, um, you can either let it frustrate you or you can have a good time with it. And um, I've, I've always had a good time with it. It's, uh, you know, what was interesting with this film was a lot of the times there was no blue screen. So they had just injected it um, in and post, which I didn't even know was possible. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it, for me, it's, it's always a good time. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, they're such an important part of, of these type of movies and, and these shots and films. Um, you know, they would they would tell me what they were thinking about doing with the, you know, with the animals, or you know, specifically like, um, you know, where the mammoth would be if I'm running between feet. They tell me how how I should move to make it coordinate with the shot that they're doing. Um, they're very much involved, and uh, and they were fantastic, really great people, and obviously incredibly talented. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, what the, what they were saying to me and uh, what my ideas were, we kind of coordinated together to kind of make everything mesh perfectly. I met trabajando con Ron, es un hombre lleno de personalidad, lleno de energía, siempre está muy animado todos los días y tiene un pasión por su profesión que es muy admirable porque todos los días con tanta energía, corriendo siempre hablando con los actores y también viendo todos los detalles mínimos también entonces era un director con mucho talento yo nunca sabía cómo cómo es como también con los animales nunca sabíamos cómo se parecen no entonces todos los días estábamos trabajando con nada con bolas de papel con con bolas de tenis con casi con nada entonces corriendo de nada luchando con nada es difícil pero, pero también un poco divertido porque tienes que crear algo en su cabeza para tener miedo, algo en su cabeza para tener un tipo de, de sentimiento. Entonces, es más creativo y más divertido que no. Pero también difícil, pero la, en la película no hay muchos, no hay muchos visu aspectos visuales. Es más los animales que no son reales, pero el resto, las locaciones, las montañas, el desierto, es todo real. No mucho, porque siempre, yo siempre estaba trabajando con Roland, pero había personas de, de special effects, ¿no? Pero nunca hablé mucho con ellos.